in here today. Uh, I want to first start by thanking the media for uh, for helping us with the coverage over Audrey, over her missing. You have been your help has been immensely appreciated. It has been it has been great. I want to thank again everyone who has been engaged in the efforts to find Audrey, from the investigators to the volunteers who have who have spent countless hours in hopes of finding her, and to the community members who have been been here supporting us since day one. I also want to have a, say thank you to Trinity River Authority for lowering the water levels so that the divers could reach the area, could reach areas of, of interest. At this time, I sadly announced that Audrey's body was located at the Trinity River on the U.S. Highway 59. As a result of today's developments, I will discontinue the Amber Alert for Audrey. And I, I want to thank DPS, Department of Public Safety, for all their help in this alert. The information that we have gathered in this criminal investigation is substantial. The Polk County Sheriff's Office investigators, the Livingston Police Department, and the Texas Rangers, uh, the Game Wardens, the FBI, Harris County Sheriff's Office, the uh, uh, San Jacinto County Sheriff's Office, the District Attorney's Office um, in uh, Trinity County, in Liberty County, uh, it's just an outpouring of love from all of our law enforcement partners. My heart aches with this news, and I express with my deepest sympathies and condolences to everyone who knew, who cared for, and loved Audrey. The Sheriff's Office, we will continue to process the evidence that has been gathered to ensure that the justice for Audrey. And at this time, I will turn the podium over to the Polk County District Attorney, Ms. Shelley Sutton. Thank you, Byron. <clears throat> My name is Shelly Sitton and I am your Polk County District Attorney. I just want to take a few moments to explain how we're going to move forward from here. Based on all of the evidence that law enforcement has collected, they are in the process of preparing the appropriate arrest warrants for Don Stephen McDougal. At this time, we believe the appropriate arrest warrant is going to be for capital murder and the death of Audrey Cunningham. He is currently still in jail under an unrelated felony charge here. I understand that this is a very difficult time for Audrey's family and for our community. The substantial law enforcement resources that were marshaled by the Sheriff Lyons, I think should show you that this county and law enforcement, they will come out when they need to, to protect our children and the assets that we have been made available to Polk County to protect our children have been substantial. And at this point, as Sheriff Lyons said, he'll continue to collect the evidence and process that. The district attorney's office is going to stand right beside them and follow through and we promise that you can assure that the district attorney's office will be just as dedicated to this case as every one of these law enforcement officers that are standing behind you to do what is right for Audrey and bring justice to our community. Thank you. At this time, if you've got some questions, we'll open it up to a few questions. Any, to any indication of how Audrey was killed? I cannot speak to that. At this time right now, we have transported Audrey uh, down to the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office. At that time, we will await their results to be able to determine uh, the cause and method of her, her death. But evidence suggests murder. We believe that there is enough evidence, yes. Yes. Can you tell did, us did, the, um, did, Stephen, did Don Stephen McDougal lead you to that location on the river where you found her body? Did he tell you where to find her? There was evidence uh, that we was collecting through the cell phone, through the cell phone analysis, as well as through our, as well as through our videos that we were able to collect, and and exactly, and, and some of the information that we received from him, we were able to pinpoint and and set. There were several points of interest um, that was turned over to us, so that we were able to develop. And thank goodness, and thank by the grace of God. One of those places of interest we were able to locate. Sheriff, what, what evidence links McDougal to the murder? Well, what evidence links McDougal to the murder? 
evidence and 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 right now folks when it start we start talking about how we linking evidence to McDougal and linking evidence to um, this case we want to be very careful on how we do that um, I, I will feel safe this to say this is that there is substantial evidence through the evidence that we've gathered and some of that evidence was even gathered by the the wonderful witnesses and wonderful folks out there in the social media who sent us videos who sent us uh, pictures some of that even that evidence helped us to be able to come up with these locations as well as the evidence from cell phones and where as, as videos to uh, pinpoint these locations was Sir, was the 11 year old's body and if she was dressed at this point right now, until we get all our information back from the medical examiner's office, we, we don't want to release any information concerning Audrey and, and, and uh, condition of our body. Sheriff, what directed you to that portion of I-59 in the Trinity River? What directed you to that area of I-59 in the Trinity River? That that area is one of the first areas of our concern, points of interest when we started our search on Friday, well, midday Friday, and again, that's going to be developed from some of the evidence, and, and then, yes, there was some points uh, where he did give information, because there were several places that he said that he had went. So it wasn't, a, it wasn't a location where he said he took her, but there was a, a incident where he said these were locations where he had gone. Without this evidence that you talk about, would you have been able to find her where you found her? Without the evidence that you just described? Yes. You would have found her there? We would have found her not through... Not through him, but we would have found it through the evidence that we collected from the analysis from phones and videos would have. Yes. Was she visible to the, to the naked no. eye? You, were, you used a sonar, you used the sonar boat. Texas Equus Search was out with their sonar boat scanning the, the bottom of the, of the river for, for her body. They are the ones that discovered the body, is that correct? No, the image. I, they, I, I, I'm not going to say who exactly or what agency uh, discovered her, her her body today. I will say this: that due to the lowering, we were able to contact TRA Trinity River Authority. They slowed down the the outflow from the uh, the reservoir, and it allowed the water to go down. and And her body was discovered uh, there in the water. Um, but I'm not going to say whether it was Harris County or Montgomery County or EquiSearch. It was a conglomeration of a lot of love and law enforcement networking together so that helped discover her. Sources have told us, though, that Stephen McDougall was the one that told you to lower the river, lower the level of the river. We've been told that he actually told you to lower the water on the river. Is that true? We talked to TRA on several occasions uh, about lowering it. When they got to the point or they felt they were safe to lower the, start lowering the river, we um, we were able to get them to do so. Whether or not Mr. McDougal gave us information on lowering the river or not to be able to locate her, that's information that we do not want to release at this time. Sure. One more question. Sure. One more question. Sure. Is there, is there sure. any evidence that, that location, McDougal told you guys that that was one of the locations where he went Yep, he, he did advise that was one of the locations that he had gone. Not that he was saying that she was there or any other location, but we know that he went there as well. Until we get all of the evidence and all the autopsy reports, we're going to have to hold and work with law enforcement to determine what is the best solution to this case. If the evidence supports that, that is something that we're going to look into. Is there any evidence she was held somewhere else, or was she killed pretty much the day that she disappeared? We, we do not have any evidence at this time that's showing that where she may have been held somewhere else. But again, we are still processing mounds and mounds of uh, information and, and, and data. Mr. Bob, last question. Is there any evidence that there was anything used to keep the body underwater? That is information at this time that we do not want to release. Do you have an approximate time frame for what are Thank you all very much. Thank you all for your questions. Thank you all for all that you've done for us to help bring an Audrey home. Sheriff, a message through our house for the community.